a country in a state of chaos and disarray. <sighs> Today, we're looking at Haiti. Haiti has been on a spiral of destruction, chaos, and more. Death, poverty, and so much more. Today we're going to look at Haiti to see some of the things that's going on. Right now, the country has been overtaken by gangs. There are many gangs, but there's one gang in particular whose leader, Jimmy Barbecue, um, is the leader of that gang. And he has taken full control of the country. The prime minister recently gave in his resignation. So at this moment, the country has no governance. It is complete and total chaos. And in the meantime, the residents, the people, the countrymen, food is an issue, water is an issue, medicine is an issue, bullets, getting shot is an issue. It is a complete and total horror. So let's get into it. Hello friends and welcome to The Conservative Poet. I am Amanya and I wanna say thank you to all of the new subscribers. We got a whole lot of people that hit that subscribe button and I wanna say thank you for doing that because I will surely work hard to entertain you, to bring you information and just to be the fighter out here in the streets for you. So thank you for subscribing. God bless you and God keep you. Caribbean leaders have called an emergency meeting today with the United States, Canada and France in an effort to stop the worsening gang violence in Haiti. Armed gangs continue to launch large-scale coordinated assaults against multiple government buildings and the presidential palace after attacking prisons last week and freeing close to 5,000 inmates. This elderly woman was caught in the crossfire during a shootout between police and gangs in the capital of Port-au-Prince. She survived. Street battles between gangs and police have crippled Haiti's fragile economy with UN officials saying more than half of the country's 11 million inhabitants don't have enough to eat and one and a half million are starving. Canadian citizen Richard Phillips can hear gunshots from his hotel. The country just deteriorated really, really quickly. The, the real fear is that if the police force collapses in Haiti, you become very vulnerable as a hostage, quite frankly. The man behind it all is Haiti's most notorious gang leader a former police officer named Jimmy Barbecue Cherazier. He says the first step is to overthrow Prime Minister Henri and then go after what he calls the corrupt oligarchs and politicians. Dr. David Vanderpool heads a ministry to Haiti. He spoke to CBN's Faith Nation from his home in the U.S. Well, this is uh, sort of the culmination of gangs running the country for the last three or four years. The government has uh, collapsed. Uh, the president was assassinated in 21. The judiciary was uh, also terminated as well as the parliament. So there's not been an effective government in place uh, since 2021. And the gangs have had full run of the country. Vanderpool says only foreign military intervention will bring the chaos to an end. We need to pray for the safety of the individuals, uh, especially the vulnerable populations. Pregnant women and children, older people, we need to pray that we're able to get food and medicine into Haiti. The violence has caused thousands of Haitians to cross into the neighboring Dominican Republic, and it could drive a new surge of migrants toward the U.S. border. Seen that? Heard that? Good. Hello, fellow patriots. Thank you so much for your support. And again, you can do so by purchasing products from the Orlando Patriots, mugs, 
t-shirts, all of your patriotic gear. We are in an election year, so we need to show the world that we support our candidates, especially President Trump. So get some gear at theorlandopatriot.com and you'll get 30% off. Thank you for your support. It means the world to me. I'll see you there. The people of my home country are in dire restraints. They are suffering. I mean, it's horrific to watch what's going on. This is truly the humanitarian problem crisis. Um, the country has been taken over by rebels and gunmen. These people have no help coming. The prime minister who went to Kenya to get help in reference to all of this, uh, as of yesterday or today, I think it was, uh, the Kenyan government has decided that they are not going to be able to help with this crisis. And so that was the only hope that they had. And so now they are back to square one. And not just that, but the prime minister has resigned. And so somebody in this developed country, somebody's going to have to step up and help the country of Haiti. Because what we're seeing is utter chaos and destruction. Something's going to have to give. Somebody's going to have to help. I don't know if Joe Biden will be the one to help. Um, as of recent, they've said that they are not getting, going to get involved. They've been involved before. They were involved back in, I think, 2004. Um, and they says, yeah, we're going to stay out of this right now. We, we, we got our hands full with Ukraine. We've got our hands full. We're, we're not going to look at this humanitarian crisis. We've got our hands full with Palestinians. We've got our hands full with Gaza. We're not going to look at this. We're not going to touch this because we got our hands full. And friends, I understand that, but this is also a humanitarian crisis. This really needs boots on the ground to get something done. This really needs help because right now the country has been taken over and somebody's got to come and give a hand. Somebody's got to do something. And I agree with our friend here in the video and what Haiti really do need is prayer. Um, I think it's the Haitian people, we the Haitian people who need to get on our knees and pray to God for forgiveness of our sins, forgiveness of our shortcomings, forgiveness of all the bad stuff that Haitians have done in, in religion and so on. This is where they need to repent, truly repent and ask God to help because as far as I'm concerned, as far as I see it, this is the only, only way they're going to get any help is if it comes from above. So they, we, the Haitian people have to be the ones to get on our knees and repent of all the foolishness in religion so that God can hear some prayer, so that God can come for the answers because that's the only way this is going to work. This is the only way Haitians gets help. This is the only way Haiti gets help. They have to ask. They have to repent. And they have to pray. And of course, prayer from the outside community will help, but it's the Haitian people that has to repent because of the wickedness. So friends, that's going to be it for this video. Join me in prayer as we pray for the people of my home country as they go through this process um, of finding new leadership and 
I mean, I don't even know what's going to happen. Um, I just know that it's bad. It's really, really bad, y'all. It's really bad. And like I said, it's the Almighty that has this in his hands. And the only way to get help from the Almighty is to pray and to repent. So that's going to be it, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to me in the comments. If you have any thoughts and ideas, let's do it there. God bless you all. God keep you. And God, I pray for the Haitian people, the Haitian community. I pray for my Haiti. Oh, I, T, I, T, Sherry. I pray for you now. May God bless and keep you. Amen, y'all. I'll see y'all in another one.